happy Easter. Without Easter, there won't be a reason for Christianity. Everything will be in vain. And I pray that the resurrection of the Lord will abide with us all. Amen. His death, his suffering on the cross won't be in vain in our lives. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, I appreciate you and thank you for this morning. Lord, thank you for the reason, Lord. Thank you for that redemption power. Thank you for your power that raised the Lord Jesus up from the grave. Thank you for the last word on the cross for fulfilling it. Thank you, Lord, for in our life it is finished to all our shames and reproaches. Thank you, Lord, for today we have the confidence to be called your children. Blessed be your name. This morning, Holy Spirit, speak, Lord. Father, let me not speak my own, but let me speak what you want us to do. And your people shall be blessed. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning we are talking about using your talents for a profitable service. Using your talents for a profitable service. I bless the name of the Lord, sir. Ma, more increased for this opportunity. Ma. I am the yeah, least. I thank God for the grace. May you continually be on the increase now. And I thank the church of God. We are waxing stronger in this power. Amen. Using our talents for a profitable service. Thank God this morning we learned about living a purpose driven life. Everyone in this world, we came into the world for a purpose. No one is a mystic. I want us to know that. No one is a mystic. That is why the scripture said, For I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Mm -hmm. And I want us to know that anything that happens in this world, God knew about it from the beginning. For us as people of God, we are for a purpose. There is a purpose God brought you into this church. There is a purpose God brought you to your area. There is a purpose you are here. Before we move further, I want us to look at the story of the talents God has given out. He gave to everyone according to his ability. But it is left for us to use it. It is a gift God has deposited in the Lord Jesus. Go and read the book of Isaiah. All the prophecies that has been given, that is why we could see. Later I say, and unto you I will give a son. Unto you I will give, I will give, I will give, I will give, is what he has been saying. And the kingdom shall be upon his shoulder, and he shall be called wonderful, marvelous. This thing has been, and all those things that were foretold by prophet Isaiah came to pass later when he opened the book, and the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me. We could see the fulfillment in the scripture. And I pray the fulfillment of God in our life will not be in waste in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we please open to the book of St. Matthew chapter 25. We are quickly going to read through from verse 14 to 30. I don't know if we could get a fast reader who could do it for us. Because this speaks about the deposits of God in our lives. Okay. Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. A fast reader. Read this, At that time, kingdom of heaven will be like this. Thank you, Once there was a man who was about to leave home on his mm. trip. 
He called his servant and put them in charge of his property. Mm -hmm. He gave to each one according to his ability. Mm -hmm. To one he gave 5,000 gold coins, mm -hmm. to another he gave 2,000, and to another he gave 1,000. Mm -hmm. Then he left on his tree. The servant who has received 5,000 coins mm -hmm. went at once and invested his money and earned over 5,000. Mm -hmm. And the same way the servant who had received 2,000 coins earned another 2,000. Mm -hmm. But the servant who had received 1,000 coins went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After, is it finished, sir? No, sir. To 30. To 30. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled account with them. The servant who had received 5,000 coins came in and handed over the other 5,000. You gave me 5,000 coins, sir, he said. Look. Yeah, another 5,000 that I have had from him. Those are the complaints until... Well done. You good and faithful servant. Sell this master. You have been faithful in managing small accounts. So I will put you in charge of large amounts. Come on in and share my happiness. Then the servant who had been given 2,000 coins hmm. came in and said, You gave me 2,000 coins, sir. Look, here and here are another 2,000 that I have had. Well done, you good and faithful servant, said his master. You have been faithful in managing small accounts, so I will put you in large of I will put you in charge of large amount. Come in and share my happiness. Mm. Then the servant who had received one thousand coins came in and said, Sir, I know you are a hard man. Mm. You reap every harvest where you did not plant, mm. and you gather crops where you did not cut scatter seed. Mm. I was afraid, so I went off and eat your money in the ground. Look, here is what belongs to you. Mm. You bad and lazy servant. His master said, you knew, did you, that I reap harvest where I did not where I did not plant, and gather crops where I did not scatter seed. Well, then, you should have deposited my money in the bank, and I would have received it all back with interest when I, when I returned. Now, take the money away from him, and give it to the one who has 10,000 coins. For to for every person who has something, even more will be given, mm. and he who and who and he who have more than enough. But the person who has nothing, even the little that he has, will be taken away from him. Mm. Last verse. As for this useless servant, throw him outside in the darkness. Mm. There he will cry and crush, garnish his state. God bless you, ma'am. Mm. We could see the story. God has made everyone peculiar <coughs> that is why he has called us holy nation royal people peculiar people in this world every one of us has different gifts i can't go to children's department and function there no way it's not a lie i'm a failure there because number one i don't understand their language i don't know how they feel when they are talking, I don't know. But when I am where God wants me to be, oh, I don't even need to look. I will do everything. I can close my eyes and even sleep like this and be doing it. Because that is where God has put me. Somebody has been there who could go out to distribute to 20,000 houses. I can't do it. Somebody is there he could handle the tech department. It's the gift. And you build yourself. We can see that there are three people in this world that I want us to know. We call them destiny destroyers. The first category of people, they are those who are not ready for anything. <laughs> Even you carry them to the river like this, that ah, this is a river bath in it. They will still complain. Like the person who was given one is a complainant. The chief complainant. The second set of people are those who know it, but they are not even ready to do anything about it. They just want to hold it. Like the people we call it the world, celebrities. There's nothing to celebrate them in them. I mean, I don't celebrate them. When they say one celebrity, I'm a celebrity of my own. Because I will never be another person. Another person will not share Sunday on our day. Likewise, another person shares his atop name. 
the DNA is different. The gene is different in the old world. You are what you are by the Christ grace. That's why Paul Apostle could say, I am what I am by his grace. I want us to know that in doing the work of God, everyone is born for a purpose as we learned this morning in our Sunday school. We should know that Christ came for a purpose. If Christ was not born, if Christ was not given birth to, there would be a fulfillment of our purpose on earth. Let us say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Without Jesus, we are nobody. Thank God for level Jesus. I don't have any family in, in our blood. I don't know anybody. Nobody in my family ever have blood. But when I was small, like the age of Jason and uh, my guy here, I could see my granny. The person who, we were all in the village. He just see that thing. Ah, all these people say, every day we get there, oh, maybe one day, oh. He said, of not saying maybe that she's supposed to affirm me that ah, one day I will get there, oh, but she will be praying, praying. But he didn't get there. <laughs> Neither my grandfather, but only me. And since then, God opened the way. Likewise, anything we do for God. Some people, they tell them, come and do something in the church. They say, how much are you going to pay? I shared with our money yesterday. A friend is running Helter Skelter now, immigration-wise. Because this guy is just making money about in Manchester, collecting money. But as he's collecting the money, he can't even rent a box room. He's sleeping about. And they are collecting the money. I've been telling him, he said, yeah, Sunday is you who is going ye. Continue doing going ye. You see yourself. And I said, thank God. But during the week, they came to the house of one of the friends, they do squat because it's caught about. And they ransack all the boys. And even where he thought he would get help, he couldn't go there. And he's running about now. He said, You want to come to my house? Say, You know the law in this nation. Don't allow illegal. No, <laughs> for me, I know what I'm doing because if it's somebody who is serving the Lord, the Bible says in Daniel 11 32 be that those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Exploit means the strength, the great power. Somebody that I will bring into house that I say, oh boy, let's sit down and pray. He won't pray. He will say, you are wasting time. Because when you tell him to pray, he will say, you have started the game. You don't even look at your time. You are wasting time. But now, he's running about. Oh, how can I get those pastors to help me? And he said, now those pastors will come. No. That is why whenever we come to the household of faith, whatever we are doing, let us put it together. No wonder the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Apostle Paul could boldly say, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, through Christ who empowers me. Yes. Everything we are doing, let us do it to the glory of God. You can compose a song, you can cook. Some people, God gave them the gift to put these things together, to decorate the house of God. I don't know about it. Even I am the least person in fashion sense. I don't have a fashion sense. I just put something on anyhow. I just do my own. But some people, when they put it on, ah, you will say, yes, yes. Me, I don't know color. Just wear something. <laughs> put it on. Just go away. That is my lifestyle. There are some people, they will say, ah, there was a day I even dressed shabby one day. Me, I don't know I dressed shabby. Maybe just go, ah. <laughs> me, I don't know. Thank God for a leader who will call you to a corner and just say, I said, uh, me? I just wear anything. I don't know color. <laughs> but some people, God gave them. When you enter the auditorium here, you see the setup. Some people, God has given them the ministry of giving. 
Some people ministry of encouragement. Some people ministry of reaching out. Just as our mommy this morning when our deacon was saying it, I just say thank you, Lord. It's a connection in the spirit. Because when you see the work of God and you tap into it, sometimes they call us, let us come to pray. Some people maybe they are just by their dead side. They say, let me be watching. The online something can't bless you much than being there. Tap through the source. That is a third party something. That is why we could see people. But when you want the work of God to be perfected in your life, you need to use your strength. Some people, they have the outreach. Like yesterday, mommy, I watched that one at Pakatani. It was awesome. I saw those mama, they are Muslims. They say, cover their head. Yes, we do better. And I said, thank you, Lord. And over there, they don't preach Christ. But this is when you meet their need. They will say, ah, in as much as I could see this, that means that Jesus is real. Let me follow him. Hallelujah. And they don't put the name there. That hey, I am this, I am that. I thank God for those coordinators and the volunteers back home. I was watching it yesterday. I was praying for them when I was hanging up my prayer. Tonight. We should know that God wants us to be a builder in his household. Be a builder. The ushers people, I can't do the job because I'm not good. I can't count money. That is my weakness point. Because when you give me money, I just put it in the pocket. They have given me that money. I don't know. I don't know how to count. But these people will count they will record it, they will put it. It's on the good year. They will be scatter, scatter. Let us appreciate every gift God has deposited in us. And let us use it well. Let us not sit down. Some people, when something happens, we could see how God has used them to put things together. In those days, I thought my father was punishing us. He will take us to the church. He will clear all the cobwebs in the church, repair the floors to put it back. But then, when I was getting to primary four, because they took me from Gilead to join my parents later, and I said, this man is wasting our time. In the village, early in the morning, we just rode our bicycle to the farm, just be doing everything we like. But this man, every Saturday, wasted our time. By the time we teach you the organ work, we teach you this, teach you that. I'm not knowing that he's preparing me for the great job ahead. I decree in the name of Jesus, as we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord today, every dormant gift, every dormant talent, every dormant deposit in our life, hindering us from moving to the next level, and end has come to it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Younger ones, don't just come to church. Look for where you will participate. Mm. Try catching yourself strong. <coughs> Everything. Let us not say, hey, my daddy and my mommy, they said we should go to church. No. You two from now create something. Be useful. Some people will say, ah, they are star. Nobody is a star. Everyone is a star. Because we that are born of the Spirit, we are the one that will inherit everything. And I want us to know that there are three things we should also use and know about our gifts, the talent God has given to us. Number one, let us use our talents in love. Use your talent in love. When we look at Mark, Chapter 43, uh, chapter 10, verse 43 to 45. Shall we please look at it, please? Mark, book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 43 to 45. Anybody to read, please? Because I'm all so that we pray. Book of Mark, chapter 10. Yes, ma'am. 43 to 45. 
But so shall it not be among you. But whatsoever will be great, whosoever among you shall be ministers. When we say minister, it means servant. And whosoever of you will be the chief, shall be the servant of all. Jesus Christ came to minister. He didn't wait, not like today, when they say, even some people I look, they call themselves general overseer, general overseer of just uh, two assemblies. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they see their father's uh, or their grandfather's age, they will wait. And that's when you see their shoulder like a chicken. That time, that yes, we have arrived. Where have you arrived? Where did you arrive? Instead of being submissive, don't think you are high than anybody. I thank God for about the boy. You see everybody, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So humble. I thank God for that. You never say, because I'm due. Hey, you, come. No. Whatever you want to do, some people will come. Ah, they are the leader. They will rubbish everything that without them, nobody can help. It's a lie. You. Go to the graveyard. Go and see professors. Go and see the rulers. See many people. Let us use our talent with love. Let us not be proud that without us, nothing can be done. It's a lie. You. Mm -hmm. The day you go, the work continues. Mm -hmm. Secondly, let us use our gifts happily. Happily. Not with grudge. Some people, when they give them an assignment, they say, ah, why didn't you tell me two weeks ago? <laughs> uh, I hate it when I hear somebody calling himself or herself a minister. They just call you now. Bam! You are doing this now. Ah, you're supposed to have informed me two months ago. Uh, it means that you are proud. <laughs> and God will just raise. He can just raise the little boy as young as she is that do the work and people will be blessed. Anybody that comes to this altar, let us not look, even when our younger ones are ministering, I say, yes, Lord, I want to hear this word, sir. Because I will learn. And God will bless me. And thirdly, how we need to manage our talent is because God wants us to use it to be great. He wants us to use it to be great and use it with respect. The first one, use it to love. Use it to prosper by using it happily. And the last one is what will make us to have a fulfilled life. When you want to have a fulfilled life, it's when you surrender everything in you. Look at our Nigerian people. I don't know about all the African nations. If you don't call them GCFR, HIV, SMS, this thing, they won't come. They won't even raise their, their seats that, oh, they are calling. So people will still write a letter. Call me all the appellations. I say, eh, all the appellations. Are they using it to get money in the World Bank? As the people of God, let us know. Kings only rule within their domain. But those who serve the Lord, those who really utilize their challenge, their, their talent, they will reign in the whole world mm. for the Christ's sake. I want us to know that. And finally, let us listen to this ministration of this short music. It ministers powerfully. Because it says, I give my life to you. Christ laid his life down for us. Brother, excuse me. That's music, sir. The song, sir. Because Christ laid his life for you. It's a gift that was already prepared. It's a gift that was handed out. And we will see. At the end, this gift will not come against us in judgment. Shall we listen to it, sir?
this morning how God has spoken to you. He says a wise use of your time is to build an eternal legacy because you are put here on earth to prepare for eternity. Let us pray and say God thank you for your deposits over our lives. Thank you for the deposits you have given to us before we were formed in our mother's womb, you have known us. Thank you for that great deposit by the richness of the Lord Jesus in our lives. Thank you for what you have done to redeem us. Glory be to your name, O Lord. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. O Lord, our God, for the great deposit of eternal life. Thank you for those things you have given to us as your children. Amen. Thank you, Lord, to be connected with you. Amen. Glory be to your name, O Lord. Amen. My Father, my God, we cry unto you, help us further to discover all the talents in us Amen. so that we will profit it to your kingdom. Amen. Our Lord and our God, we cry unto you, is there any way where we don't use those gifts you have given to us. Lord, you are the great restorer. Father, restore us all back in your love in the name of Jesus. Amen. My Lord and my God, every talent blockers that may be on our ways, today we receive the power and the grace. We send them out of our ways in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our talent from now we starts to bless others. Amen. It will bless our nations. Amen. It will bless our generation. Amen. It will bless the church of God. Amen. And it will bless your kingdom. Amen. As from today, what we know how to do, it will bring out the gratitude of your power. It will bring out the gratitude of your glory. It will bring out the gratitude of your awesome Lord. We will not return as a confused person. Amen. We will not report and return as a disgraced person. Amen. Those gifts, those talents we have received from you because you are the giver. Lord, in our hands